wacky events that happened in my school. Most of us here know what a school-sponsored event is. Either a cool activity that the entire school gets together to do for fun, or a fundraising special activity the school gets together to do to raise funds, which can also be fun. Hey guys, Galaxy Fire Gamer here. Today, I'm going to be talking about some of the weirder events we did in school. So I was in kindergarten. The whole class went to the gym and the whole school was there. We all sat down on the floor because for some reason we didn't have any seats. And for some reason, the principal walked up on stage, stood on top of a stool, and the staff then literally duct taped the principal to the wall. The whole school sat there as the staff kept putting more and more layers of duct tape on the principal, eventually taking away the stool he was standing on. I'm not sure why the school decided to do this out of all the activities we could have done, but I thought it was a pretty fun idea. I really liked it. Moving on. Later that same year, the teacher told us all to go out into the halls, and the whole school was sitting on both edges of the halls, and the teachers told everyone to take off our shoes and place them right next to us. The principal then ran across the entire school, back and forth through every hall, while everyone was high-fiving him as he ran by. Now this one was really cool. Flash forward five years later into my fifth grade elementary school year, and there was this event that we would do every year in the gym where we, the fifth graders, would make different inventions using wooden boards with grid holes, rubber bands, and plastic pins. I made a pinball machine, which I named Space Adventure Pinball after a pinball game I used to own. Everyone in the school, the third and fourth graders, would walk around the gym and would test out the different things that we, the fifth graders, made. I remember walking around as a third and fourth grader, and I noticed that everyone had a lot of very unique and creative ideas. I really liked everyone's ideas. I really liked this one. It was really fun. Moving on. Here's another. Flash forward a year later in my sixth grade middle school class, there was this thing called the school bake sale, which I'm pretty sure a lot of other schools have done, where in the cafeteria, the school would sell sweets, candy canes, and other sugary sweets. There was this one type of sugar cookie I used to buy each time, which was so sugary that it hurt a lot to eat. I could not eat more than one sugar cookie without feeling completely full. I really like doing these kinds of things. Moving on. Cut three years later in my freshman year of high school. In that high school, there was this thing we would do every Friday called Cookie Friday, where the students in the culinary class my school has would bake cookies for everyone. You could buy three cookies for a single dollar, which meant that you could buy up to 24 cookies for just $8. I remember that in my sophomore year geometry class, there were these kids who were usually very loud in class, and one day, during break, they went and got cookies for the whole class, which I thought was a really nice thing to do. I really like that. If you guys are watching this, thank you guys so much for the cookies. It means a lot. The teacher said that he would let us all take them if we behaved at the end of the class, and almost the entire class forgot about the cookies, which was very unfortunate, except for me. And then I said, hey, can I take a cookie? And the teacher said yes. And then a couple other students took cookies as well. The cookies were delicious. Best I have tasted in actual years. Thank you guys so much for the cookies. I really like them. It means a lot. Later at the end of that same school year, it was the last Friday of the year, meaning that that day was our last chance to get cookies for that year. And I realized that after that, nobody would be able to buy cookies anymore until next year. That was when I thought back to the nice thing my classmates did when they got cookies for everyone in geometry class. So, I took it upon myself and bought 48 cookies for the whole class while the class was on break. And I brought them up to the class on the third floor where my class was. Everyone loved the cookies and they all thanked me and high-fived me as they took some. By the time class ended, there were still some cookies left over, which luckily meant that I could give them to more people. So I took them to the next class and I gave out some of the remaining cookies to a couple more classmates. But then school ended that day, but there were still some cookies left over. So I went to the main office and gave the rest of them to the teachers, and then I went home. 
Anyways, that's all for today. I'm Galaxy Fire Gamer, and thank you for watching.